EA Sports, and the PGA of America are proud to present third round coverage of the PGA Championship. We're here at Whistling Straits in Kohler, Wisconsin for the PGA Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports set to bring you all of the championship action. Frank, what's in store for our golfers today under these major championship conditions? It's a Pete Dye special, um, Rich. Bunkers, I've lost count of the number of bunkers at Whistling Straits, but already it's been the host of several PGA Championships, uh, so it's a test for the great players of the world. But really, you've got to tip your cap to the designer. Um, he'll tell you that building Whistling Straits was a, quote, once-in-a-lifetime thing. Uh, to see Lake Michigan around the golf course, it looks just like it's not real. Uh, it, it looks like you're playing on the moon sometimes. It's an amazing venue. Oh, he's winding this one up. Doesn't have the power, though. Looks to be putting everything into this one. Just destroyed it. Ooh, that is long. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. safely on deck. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. And a great start. Frank, how about the par five, 597 yards, second hole? They give you a chance here. If you can hit a long drive down the left side, it starts to open up. But even a drive that finds the fairway down the right side, you might think it's okay, but chances are you're gonna have a blind second shot. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. That was a good run right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So 
Just replicate that on the way back. Well, how about this start? Birdie, birdie to open the round. Now to the first par three on this golf course. It's the third, about 188 yards. Yeah, big green with uh, lots of uh, undulations and it moves the ball from that right side towards the left, towards uh, Lake Michigan. But uh, club selection, important here. Surely not. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hitting the ball in the right place there. And, uh, yep, good thing, too. He's actually putting well. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball's sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Frank, it's really hard to believe that we are in Wisconsin because it looks like an old seaside Lynx course from Scotland or Ireland. Well, Pete Dye spent a lot of time in Scotland in the, in the uh, early 1960s, and that's really where he learned his architecture from. So a lot of those features he's incorporated in Whistling Straits. This is a good-looking shot. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. So a tester from four feet. Oh yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Now the fifth hole, and Frank, what a par five. Well, strategic par five. It's almost the shape of an S. That's why it's called snake. Um, the best and most conservative way to play this hole is just simply Play it as a three-shotter. Tee shot down the left, second shot up there, and then just take the wedge in. And his second shot with the par five. didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Cody try up next. And getting ready for the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Ready to hit the tee shot here at the sixth. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? Well, Rich, finally uh, a par four that's not overly long. There's a little bunker down the left. That's about 250 yards. Shouldn't have a problem carrying that, but it's the next two, just up ahead around the 330. Mark, just keep it a little short of that. Short iron in. Well, he pays the price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there.
Just a case of a hole shooting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Did the job right there. Another magnificent hole here at Whistling Straits. Nothing but water on the right and a huge drop off down to the beach. Yeah, if you're struggling with your golf, um, just take a little breath and look right. Uh, it'll, it'll be a great... Uh... Well, this one should be safely on deck here. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Shouldn't be a problem here. Frank, we have said it over and over. Another birdie. Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. It looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow through. Frank getting set for this approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flow. Where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, what about this downhill shot off the tee and the idea that you just want to sort of let that ball run toward the green down the hill? Well, Pete Dye just gives you so many different looks um, throughout the front nine of whistling straights, and, and this really is the first example of this, plus the, the swirling winds that are created by that sort of tree in the mounding on the right of this green. Quite spectacular. That's a ginormous tee shot. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. It's a big putt right here for birdie. Oh, man, just slides by and only a tap in left. Good putt. a bad score on the card, that's par. 